Hello. How are you all today? You doing good? Okay. This is my 2012 Ford Focus. I'm a Ford tech and I like to explain how to make these bulletproof reliable. This applies to the 2012 through 2018 Ford Focus. Let's start with the transmission, shall we? <laughs> If, we, if you have the five-speed manual, congratulations, you have one of the most reliable cars on the planet. <laughs> um, but still, with that manual transmission, I'll just touch base there really quick. Once in a while, every few years, I would flush the hydraulics out for the clutch. Um, the first thing that's going to go on that is probably going to be the slave cylinder, and you'll lose your uh, clutch pedal. It'll, it'll cause uh, the pedal to go to the floor, and the clutch won't apply. But yeah, once every few years, um, just go on and flush the clutch hydraulics and the brake hydraulics because the brakes share the same reservoir as the clutch and you don't want that dirty fluid to sneak back up in there and dirty the new clutch fluid out okay the next thing i can't look at this dirty rag anymore that's gross if you have the dual clutch transmission and you are mechanically capable or have money to spend and you want to put money into this car um Go ahead and pull the transmission out, get a luck rep set, I'm not a sponsor, and what that is is a kit that includes the clutch, the forks, and the slave cylinder, and the hardware. You can get it on Rock Auto for about 600 bucks, and it's not a difficult transmission to work on. I've got videos, I've got a playlist full of videos for the Ford Focus transmission, and it includes everything I'm going to talk about with the transmission. And I also have other videos on how to do everything else I'm going to talk about. Alright, so the dual clutch transmission. In order to make this car bulletproof reliable, luck wrap set, get that, that is OEM parts um, for a discounted price. Once again, not a sponsor, but uh, clutch, clutch fork, slave cylinder, which is two bearings on a little tower in there. And uh, if you've got the money, two brand new Ford clutch actuators. The little motors on top, you can see that one right there. That's the top one. Okay. And uh, service the transmission fluid on the dual clutch transmission. I am not a sponsor, but this is probably the best fluid you can put in your dual clutch transmission. If you have synchronizers that are a little bit getting a little crunchy on your dual clutch transmission, then you can also use AC Delco friction modified synchro mesh. It is in the white bottle, and it's heavily friction modified and can quiet down some worn synchronizers. But uh, just wanted to mention that. I know this is kind of going on a little bit, but uh, I'll move on here shortly. The dual clutch transmission is the number one problem prone area on the Focus, which is why I'm t spending a couple minutes on this one. But give me a minute, I'll just I'll move on shortly. Last but not least, with the DPS6 dual clutch, you can uh, you can glance in there, just look and see if your TCM's been replaced. If it's shinier than the rest of the transmission, it's probably been replaced. And um, the updated design TCM through Ford is has been redesigned, and it they just I haven't seen one fail again. The redesigned ones, so and the original ones fail all the time. So if you've got the updated design TCM for your DPS six dual clutch, then you are set as far as the TCM goes. You will likely still need to replace the clutch and forks, maybe every hundred thousand miles, maybe hundred and thirty thousand. We'll see. But that's going to be the only major thing holding you back on the car. Lastly, if you have the one liter three cylinder engine, that'll come with a 6F15 uh, automatic transmission. It's a conventional hydraulic uh, automatic transmission. And it, it has been rock solid reliable. Just change the fluid every 30,000 miles. Drain and fill it a couple times. The fluid does get a bit dirty in them. So keep the fluid changed and that transmission should last you a lifetime. Moving on to the engines. The two liter naturally aspirated Duratec engine, which is paired with the dual clutch transmission, is an outstanding rock solid reliable engine. But here's what to expect out of it. Let's say half to three quarters of them will seep oil from the front cover. Don't worry about it. I haven't seen one leak so bad that it caused the oil level to get low, if that says anything right there. However, the valve cover gasket is going to leak. It's just a, it's just a quirk of these. And I have a video on how to do that. Um, it's a good time when the valve cover gasket leaks, excuse me, to go ahead and replace the spark plugs. I have a, my valve cover gasket video includes the tune-up portion in it, so it kind of covers all that there. To bulletproof the Ford Focus 2-liter Duratec, you can also replace the water pump. I've got a video where I did that on my car. Replace your upper engine mount. 
that's going to wear down a lot and uh, vibrate. Re replace your degas bottle with a OEM degas bottle. Don't use Dorman. They don't machine these ports right here, and sometimes they cause pressure loss in the cooling system and will cause it to overheat. On the topic of engines, going back to the th uh, three-cylinder, one-liter EcoBoost, if you have that engine, it does have a oil-bathed timing belt and oil pump belt. I'm not talking about the two-liter Duratec like this. I'm talking about the three-cylinder EcoBoost. Those are far less common in the U.S., but uh, I would say at least every 100,000 miles, go ahead and replace the timing belt and the oil pump belt and the tensioners, the oil pump belt tensioner and timing belt tensioner. Because if uh, the, the oil pump belt is a common failure caused by tensioner failure, and that'll cause oil starvation and destroy the engine and turbo. So stay on top of that, and you'll be good to go. Moving on to odds and ends here. On the Ford Focus 2-liter engine, there is a fuel pressure sensor right here. I have a video on that. My finger's touching it. That's a common failure. Not, not extraordinarily common. I don't replace it on mine just to bulletproof anything, but... If you want to, you know, have the peace of mind, you can get one for $80 or so at the Ford dealership. And, um, ugh, gross, dirty O-rings. And that would be one less thing to worry about. Now, moving on here, once again, purge valve. Replace it. Get a brand new OEM purge valve, and that'll give you peace of mind there. Those cause leaks and can cause the engine to either run lean or run rich if it's pulled liquid fuel into the canister. So that's a very common failure. Replace that to bulletproof your focus. All right, moving on inside this battery box right here. You uh, you want to pop these wiring retainers off right here and pop this uh, little panel back and you'll see some fuses in here. Replace the 50 amp fuse all the all the way to the right here. That Those develop cracks inside of them and cause high resistance inside the fuse and cause various electrical issues. And that can be fixed for five bucks. <laughs> I have a video for that. The uh, upper strut mounts can get noisy on these sometimes. Who cares? Um, last but not least, the O-rings inside of these uh, heater hoses here on the heater core can wear out and cause coolant to drip out and cause the engine to overheat. So that's a good uh, thing to do, replace those O-rings. On the video I have for that, I do have the part number for the O-rings. So um, the uh, upstream oxygen sensor occasionally can fail and get lazy and cause engine performance issues potentially. Super easy repair if you want to do that. I would, I would recommend OEM for that. You will get a PO420 on this car eventually, but I usually put an O2 sensor spacer on the rear O2 and it quiets that down. It turns the light off, I should say. So unless the cat plugs up, which is in my experience rare on these, then I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, other than that, I'm running out of things to talk about here, you know, other than the automatic dual clutch, they're solid cars, so um, there's not a whole lot left, but, um, you know, services, you know, I would service the cooling system, get the updated design cooling in, VC13G is the part number, Motorcraft VC13G, drain and fill it several times, and you'll get it that color. Personally, I change my oil every 5,000 miles, engine oil, using full synthetic. If you've got a high mileage focus, might as well switch to 530 if that's something you're comfortable doing. It recommends 520, but high mileage focuses, my, my focus is I put 530 synthetic in it during the summer months, but if it's cold out, I would use 520. But yeah, I mean, that's uh, that covers it. Uh, I wouldn't worry about replacing any wheel bearings unless they get noisy. It doesn't happen all the time. And um, one last honorable mention here, this uh, plastic hose here that goes across here and branches off to the uh, water outlet housing and to the top of the radiator so, eh, once in a great while they leak but i wouldn't worry about it unless it looks like old and it's brittle or anything but i wouldn't worry about that too much okay yeah it doesn't take much most of, um, aside from the dual clutch transmission uh, everything is really simple and cheap and uh you know relative to s some other cars this is really not that much t um to stay on top of so You'll have yourself a car that you can hop in, start the engine, and go wherever you want. You get 40 miles per gallon highway and last for many years. Guys, I sure do hope this video helps you out. Once again, I, for everything I mentioned here, I've got videos on except for the one liter timing work there. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. 
I want to keep these cars on the road. <laughs> Have you guys enjoy them? There's, there's uh, a lot of good with them. They're reliable. Have a great day. Thank you.